Hello, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to build VPCs. Okay, I'm looking at the Boot Ops Reference Architecture README right now, and in it, it has this diagram showing three VPCs. A production VPC, a development VPC, and a management VPC. In this video, we're going to go ahead and build all these VPCs. We're also going to build these VPCs in three separate accounts, okay? Um, to do that, we're going to go down here and click on uh, the VPC Blueprint. Uh, the VPC blueprint has all the instructions we need. It does have a prerequisite step to set up your uh, settings config. I'll show you what that kind of looks like. Um, I covered this in another video already, but I'm just show you what the settings kind of look like here. Okay, so this is what I have configured. It just basically allows me not to have to type AWS profile. Okay, so um, that's done already. Then the uses steps are one, two, three. We add the blueprints to the gem file. We configure the VPC uh, configuration values, and then we deploy the blueprint. That's pretty much it, okay? And we don't actually have to do step one, like adding the uh, blueprint, because the reference architecture repo already has it added. I'll show you what that looks like. So open up, and there's blueprint VPC. This blueprint method is just this method defined up here that calls to gem. So it's the same thing as what the readme says, okay? Just uh, adding a gem to the gem file. All right, so step two is are these uh, lono C commands. So let's just go and grab these and then run them. Okay, grab lono C and we're gonna run it three times. And I'll explain what they're doing now. So it says creating starter config files for a VPC. And then it says config params here and variables here. There's a development one, there's a management one, and there's a production one. Now let's explore these files a little bit so we can understand what they do. All right, so params, here's the development one, here's the managed one, and here's the production one. Okay, let's go ahead and um, move these guys around a little bit and organize. Okay, so the development, management, and production.txt files just hold the parameters that are, that are going to be passed to CloudFormation. And when we ran the lono c command, it basically seeded these configs. So basically it generated the files for you and it gave you nice starter examples. Like there's VPC name, domain name based on actually the template. So it, we're just basically named the VPC different things here. Okay. That's what that's all about. Let's look at variables now. Variables, let's open that up, open this up, and open that up. Okay, so let's look at production. Close one of these guys. Maybe move this and close this. Okay, so the variables files, okay, um, basically have the CIDR ranges. That's for the VPC right there. And it also has um, the subnets. So each of these VPCs have nine total subnets. Uh, three of the subnets are private app subnets. The other three are private data subnets and another three for private or public subnets, excuse me. So there's a total of nine subnets and all VPCs here. And you could configure this however you want. Let's say you don't want three uh, AZ or, or these subnets are spread across three AZs for high availability. So let's say you didn't want like three AZs, you only want two, you just delete some of these subnets here, okay? Um, and you also, I want to point out that the slider ranges, notice how they don't overlap. This is because later on we plan to peer these VPCs together, okay? So uh, that explains the variables files. So let's close that up. Let's go back to the readme. So the readme just talks about what uh, I just covered, which is basically the config files and then just what the what's the starter values are in those files look like, okay? So now the last and final step is actually deploy this, okay? So I'm just gonna grab these commands and I'm gonna paste it here. So it says lono cfn deploy VPC, development, management, and then eventually production. So it's just gonna go and deploy all three, okay? Now, I am doing this across three different accounts. Uh, the first thing it does is, here's an empty account, let me refresh it, you're gonna see a Lono stack. This Lono stack actually is created the first time you run Lono in your account. Lono creates a S3 bucket that it manages. So this is where it stores the CloudFormation templates in order to deploy and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and it does this because your CloudFormation templates are gonna be allowed to be larger when you upload to S3 versus locally serving off the file system, okay? So that's a managed stack by Lono. And then once this stack is kind of done, it's gonna start creating the VPC stack. So when we use other bl blueprints, it's not create a Lono stack again. It reuses this actually Lono stack with S3 bucket. It just detects us already there and reuses that to upload the templates, okay? But this VPC stack is now finally being created. And you're gonna see, if you kind of click on that and go look at events, it's creating all these uh, resources here. Uh, maybe the resources tab. Yeah, the resources tab shows you what's creating, it's creating the EIPs for the NAT gateways, it's configuring flow logs, <clears throat> and uh, it's creating the private subnets, The and then it's creating the public subnets, and it creates, uh, it's gonna eventually kinda create uh, things like NAT gateways, it just hasn't gotten that step yet. 
Here, it started now creating progress in that gateway. Okay, and this is the dev account. Let me switch over to the management account, okay? If we switch over to manage account, look, creating progress, you'll see something very similar. It's creating a, a similar VPC except with different settings, okay? So there you go. It's creating all the uh, compo network components or VPC components for the management account and the product account. Let's just go check on that for completeness. Okay, and there's VPC right there. VPC, click on resources. So it's still creating this one. This one's the last one, the loop that I ran or in the commands that I paste actually. So it's gonna take a little time. So since this can take a little time, I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video so you guys don't have to wait, okay? Okay, so all those VPCs have been finished creating, or finished creating. Okay, here's the VPC on the dev account, create complete right there. Let's look at the management account. Create complete right there, okay? Uh, and lastly, the production account. So we can look at that, and that's also done. I'm also going to show you how long it actually took to create these VPCs. We click on events here. You scroll to the bottom and click load more. Go to the very bottom where user initiated. That's when we launched the stack. This launched uh, at 633, 1633, and it finished at 37. So it took uh, about five minutes to create uh, a VPC, okay? Uh, and then we can kind of uh, maybe explore the VPC console just to see the components real quick. Click on your VPC. Here's the main VPC. Notice the side range is different. as 1022, and this one, if you click on dev, this is 1020, so the, uh, the variables basically kind of made them different, okay? And you could also look at like the subnets and everything else that were created. Everything was uh, was created here, okay? Let's go back to the readme. Okay, here's the readme. So we just basically covered the deploy step, and that's pretty much it. So let's review really quickly. We essentially added the blueprint to the gem file. It was already there because it was part of the reference uh, infrastructure or repo. We configured the values of the Loma C command. It's pre pretty much uh, very quick to do. Then we deployed all three VPCs, okay, across different accounts here. And that was pretty easy. Just want to show you how, how, how quick and easy that was. Okay, uh, hopefully that was helpful. Cheers.